In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be one of the best ways to throw the ball at a horizontal pace in Madden 23, uh, really attacking the defense horizontally, short passing, quick passing, able to beat the blitz, able to beat really any defense. And we're also going to leverage um, some of the things that we've learned from Madden 23 uh, to be able to optimize this setup, not only for horizontal passing in terms of zone coverage, but also horizontal passing in terms of man coverage. Now, we're going to be talking uh, uh, about this out of the trips tight end formation in the Detroit Lions playbook. We're going to show the concept out of trips tight end. We you can cross apply this uh, certainly, and we teach you how to do that in the in the uh, Patreon. We've got a full ebook on trips tight end. We also got the entire ebooks on other uh, formations, offensive and defensive ebooks, uh, talking about tight, talking about u trips, trips. Uh, bunch, bunch tight end. Uh, basically, I think we have several different type ebooks. We've got an entire gun spread ebook, and uh, we're dropping some other stuff this summer as well. So if you want to get access to any of that stuff, it's all on the Patreon. You get everything by becoming a member, and it's only ten bucks to do so. All right, so let's talk today. And again, we're specifically focusing in on how do you attack horizontally with a high degree of consistency against zone, man, and match. And these are different variations of zone, man, and match. And the play that I like to use uh, to do this, you can do it out of play action if you want play action blocking, okay? You certainly can. Um, but what I like to use uh, is doubles and sale. And the main reason I'm using it is for this, um, this little angle route here. You can also make a really good argument that drive post uh, is really good as well for this, okay? So doubles and sell, how does the play setup work? Well, what I like to do is we are going to flat the middle trips receiver. We're gonna slant the inside trips receiver, and we are going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice post, a tight end apprentice crosser, a smart routed in. You can justify uh, leaving him on the corner route that he's already on, or putting him on a streak, okay? So different routes that you can, if you wanna use, different routes you certainly can. I personally, again, if you, what's the most efficient, effective method, the post route is really good. Uh, it really is. Now, why is this, I think it's really important to understand why this play works so well and what it works against and what it doesn't work against, okay? So, um, Let's talk man coverage for uh, a second. You should have short in elite on every uh, receiver or short out elite or something to help you get separation in man coverage. We've been playing man 23 for how long, right? Now, if you don't wanna utilize this table, let's say you don't like how that runs, you can put him on an out route. I'll show you what the out route can do. Uh, occasionally this out route can get leverage to the sideline and it can actually beat man. So you can put the running back on an out route if you want to. Um, another thing you can do is you can uh, put the running back on a table route, or not table route, but a wheel route. Now, the, what the wheel route can do is late in the play, that slant route is going to replace that, and the wheel route's going to take that deep quarter out of the out of the play. If you don't have something like that, let me show you what happens. So. Let's say we run it just like this. Watch the deep quarter, and this is something new this year, but you see how he kind of breaks on the ball. Now, you can, if they don't have flat zone KO, even if they do have flat zone KO, there is a window to throw it, um, and we'll go over that in this video. But, again, we want to test this against everything. Now, like I said, optimal for me, my favorite version of this play is this right here. This is the best version, in my opinion. And the main reason why is because it has answers for every coverage. So let's talk about man coverage first. So the first thing is how do you beat man? Well, if it's press man, this in route will be pretty consistent for you. Why? Because he has short out elite and short out elite allows you to have good separation against man coverage. The other two main reads are the slant over the middle, which we know that the slant post concept is one of the best concepts for attacking uh, man to man. Your tight end post, again, if you have a route running ability, short and elite, route tech, right? That's going to help you get separation against man. If you're playing in regs, typically the man coverage ratings are not big enough for them to be able to truly um, just bag you outright, okay? You're going to be pretty much okay. You want to just throw it on the cut. 
So that's that's press man. Now, what about like this kind of man coverage where you know we have just basically we're not we're not pressing you again. Something like this, the in round on the left might not be there for you as you can see, especially if the user is going to sit in the middle. It might not be as good of a read to hit that against off man coverage. Um, it certainly isn't as good of it to hit it against cross man. But I'll show you two things you can do against against off man. Number one, your slant is going to be much, much more reliable, in my opinion, against off man. Now, the other thing that is really, really important here is let's say you're playing a, a coverage like this and they are going to go uh, off man coverage. OK. And then maybe, like I said, they do something like this. OK, for example. I want you to watch the running back on the out route here. Um, if it's like a 3-3 three, three cover, linebackers are manned up on him, he can certainly get separation. Now, the other route that's really important, though, is your tight end. And that was against a one-step ahead quarter with deep route KO um, in that position. And, and we're still able to consistently beat man coverage. So you do have answers. You have a lot of answers for man. The, the big thing I would suggest is you're just going through your progression. Don't overthink it too much. You have to actually go through your progression and, and, and throw the ball to the open receivers. So that's part A. That's man. Now, why is this play so good against zone? Okay, it's good against zone for a lot of reasons. But what makes it really next level against zone coverage is how you can user catch the tight end post and the slant route to avoid KOs. And I'll show you that real quick. So what you'll see here is, is I can throw that right in that pocket right now. Let's assume... Okay, just assume with me that the user is going to take away the tight end post. And for good measure, we're going to do this where we bring these guys down and the user is going to basically take away the, or not the tight end post, but the quick slant. Watch, watch what I can do with this tight end post. I'm going to high ball it. I'm going to click on and I'm going to come back to the ball. And I have this little window where I can throw this before it gets to the deep blues. This is really important. So here's your hook curl, okay? Now, not only can I throw that, but I also have this right here. That's the purpose of this flat route. It opens up this quick throwing lane right in this little pocket. This flat route also, uh, kind of an underrated thing that it does, look at that deep quarter zone. It kind of honestly will pull this guy out. If this guy's in a cloud, really any zone, it's gonna pull him out. And we have this little window. now. If, if Madden played quote unquote properly, this safety would crash down on this a little bit better, but because of how good agging and kind of avoiding that KO is in the middle of the field, it really can make a big difference in terms of, you know, how you're able to utilize this to attack. Now, cover four is certainly, in my opinion, the best coverage to defend this with. If it's cover three, it's not even close. Why? Because that middle third defender will go so far back into the middle of the field, he'll never get down in the ball. And I'll show it to you in a, kind of another way here. Uh, so let's say they were running like a, a cover two. And again, user in the middle field, I'm going to take the the uh, slam. Okay. So because most people will do that. Look, here's cover two. Even with a vert hook, that vert hook is a little tight. But by and large, I can still throw that. And that was with a third on the left and a vertical hook and a hard flat. So now the user's in a kind of a, a tough spot. Why? Because they have to user the, um, the slant. Now, if they play hard flats, whether it be in cover three or cover four, then you can hit this right here. This is why this is such a good horizontal attacking play. Because now, if you think about it, what do they have to do defensively to play you in zone? Well, they basically have to play this where they're playing curl flats. The problem with playing curl flats against a setup like this is watch that curl flat suck inside. And now I can throw that, that flat over there on the left side. And uh, we'll try to get you a little better, a little better example of that. But basically, this flat becomes a great option to be able to quick throw against this coverage. It is the same thing is going to also happen on the right side. So if they're playing you where they're playing curl flats, please take advantage of the little windows that you're going to have, the little flat windows that you're going to have. Now those curl flats will take will help kind of to
to a degree defend that in route. Like they'll take away that in route. They might they'll play the slant like a little better. Um, but now watch late in there. You see how I can hit that in route coming over. He's kind of crossing the middle of the field late. That's a big deal. So I've got a lot of different options against different types of zones. Now, what's a very popular zone that a lot of people like to play? A lot of people really like to play this cover three uh, Mabel zone coverage where we're going to have a hook curl here. We're going to have a underneath flat, a deep flat. This guy's rolling over the top. This guy's rolling to the middle. This guy's rolling to the back. And then on the back end of this, we're going to have this guy in a hard flat, typically uh, at five yards. And then we're going to have the user in the middle of the field. This really does a good job against a concept like this from a coverage perspective. Why? Well, because this guy is going to pull the flat zone out. The flats get pulled out that create space in the middle field for the slant post. This play is really difficult to defend if you understand the read progression. We we'll look quick to the flat, then we look to the slant, the in route, and then we look to the tight end post. Super hard play to stop because if they want to spend all day, even if, so I'm going to give a really good defense here for this. So let's say, for example, that they really want to stop the slant route or not, or the tight end post. That means you get them into a coverage like this, okay? So if that's what they really, they really want to stop the tight end post. Watch what happens here. I can throw this in front of the vertical hook and he'll never play the ball. And then if they want to go with something like this, watch what happens with this slant late in the play. So they, this is a shaded down vertical hook. I can just free form it up and over the top and you see I'm able to beat the coverage. The last little piece of this, and again, this is a true max coverage scenario. Let's assume they shade down and then they wait. They, I mean, this is a lot of adjustments for them to have to do, but they get somehow back to this coverage. And again, let's just assume the mid read takes away the tight end. This running back on this quick flat right here, that's worth it right there. And that's where the out route is also helpful because if you throw that, if you throw that as an out route, he will get out there just a little bit better. The tight end on this vertical makes all the difference in the world because it pulls that corner back just enough for us to be able to uh for us to be able to hit this. So this play for my money is the most efficient underneath passing concept in the game if you want to attack horizontally i can't think of any better play and you're almost guaranteed three to five yards you can apply the same concept and again i know we don't have a ton of time uh, to get into everything here today uh, but you can apply the same concept regardless of formation so for example uh, this is gun bunch so how could we apply the same basic uh concept to something like this well we're going to slant the tight end. We're going to in route Carmichael. We're going to put it on a smart route this time for spacing. We're going to flat the slot. And then on this left-hand side, because we have a smart routed in coming over here, we're going to create what I call a seam wheel concept. Okay. And so you see here that now you still have multiple man beaters, multiple zone beaters opening up little pockets that you can pepper horizontally and when you can attack horizontally you will significantly increase your consistency not only in just entire overall offensive efficiency but also in your efficiency in terms of its ability to consistently convert short yardage situations such as third and inches fourth and two this 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 play just it, it really is custom made uh for that situation so this to me is the best horizontal concept in Madden and you can apply it like you can totally apply this. Like you might ask, okay, well, yeah, that's three. Those are all three by one examples. How would you apply it to like gun tight? How would I apply something like this to gun tight? Okay. Great question. So a way that you could apply this to gun tight is we're going to utilize a post route to Cromartie. We're going to utilize an out route to Revis. We're going to utilize a slant to the tight end. And then we're going to have that flat and that and that wheel concept. Now we're able to attack all of the different positions that are horizontally effective on the field. 
So little things like that. We'll talk more about this in future videos. But to me, this is the best way to attack horizontally in Madden. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my eBooks, join the Patreon. It's only $10. It teaches you everything that I know about the game, how you can become a better player overnight, and also how you can become an over player, uh, a better player systematically over the long haul. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and go join by clicking the link down below.